It's not sustainable, though. Then I have. Now, the leader of the opposition. Then tell us the facts. That's right. Because he doesn't even know the facts. Exactly. This is a man who is going to borrow $421 billion this year. If the government bought 421 billion apples, the price of apples would go up. When they borrow 421 billion dollars, the price of debt goes up in higher interest rates. That's why Canadians are paying 150 percent more on their mortgages. How much? Wow. How much and how much will this government force Canadians to spend on national debt interest this year? Here, here. See, he breaks it down so well for people. The très honorable Premier Ministre. I know Canadians won't be taking any condescending economics lessons from the leader of the opposition. It's not condescending, it's factual, dum-dum. Canadians that a good way of avoiding inflation was... Is crypto? Crypto. <laughs> that was his economic capital to Canadians. That's all he's got. They would have lost almost half of their life savings. Mr. Speaker, you can understand we won't be taking any economics lessons from that guy. Oh, he feels so tough off of that. It's so Ellen chat for Trudeau. That was so pathetic. Colleagues. I know that we are caught up with the passion of the debate. I ask you to always direct your comments through the chair and also... Speaker, sit down. Disrupted to the House. The Honourable Member... The adults are talking. The uh, official opposition. Mr. Speaker, that Prime Minister should be taking economics lessons from everyone. (laughs) Everyone. Who said budgets balance themselves right before he doubled? Yeah. This is a guy who said he doesn't think about monetary policy right before he led interest rates to rise faster than at any time in Canadian history. This is a guy who, up until I told him, didn't even know how much he was borrowing out of the Canadian economy. This is a guy who's doubled the rent, doubled mortgage payments, and doubled the needed down payment. Mr. Speaker, it's about time he took some lessons. Why doesn't he go to the library and do a little bit of studying? Yo, Pierre, mic drop. W in chat, everybody. Oh, Trudeau shouldn't even stand up after that. <clears throat> Speaker, sit down. The adults are talking. Colleagues, uh, colleagues, I ask us to make sure that our comments are not disruptive to the House. The right honourable prime minister. Mr. Speaker, while the leader of the opposition continues to play his partisan games and focus on me, we're going to remain focused on Canadians. We move forward with an affordable groceries and affordable housing act uh, that they have continued to obstruct uh, debate on. We've continued to deliver things for Canadians, uh, like dental care for low-income Canadians, that they stood against. We continue to deliver $10 a day child care in places across the country that they campaigned against. They continue to campaign against uh, the Canada Child Benefit. We see, Mr. Speaker, they're always there to make clever political arguments. They're <laughs> actually support Canadians right. like we are. Thanks for watching the video to the very end. If you'd like to subscribe, I've made it very easy. You can do so by clicking right there. If you'd like to watch another House of Commons highlight clip, you can do so by clicking right there. And if you'd like to subscribe to my main channel, Mr. Sunshine Baby, where it's all Canadian political news, then you can do so by tapping up there. Um, subscribing is absolutely free. There's a button down below that says subscribe. If you'd like to join and become a member and financially contribute, you could do so as well. Thank you so much for watching this video.